So, John, where's uh, Mabe? I wanted to compliment her on the biscuits. Oh, Mabe's a church, and the biscuits are Kevin's. Really? Yeah. I'm amazed. They're not even vaguely reminiscent of his early experiments. What? The hockey pucks, you mean. Now, you see, that's the kind of remark that sent him into hiding. He practiced in private till he got it right. <laughs> oh, brought some secrets back from Ireland, did he? You are. Well, if that's the case, please extend my compliments to Kevin. I'd be happy to do that. So, how is the uh, Ryan clan taking the news of the wedding? We're wishing the couple well, is how? Well, that's not exactly the kind of enthusiasm I've grown to expect from you, John. Well, then again, I can imagine uh, that you have some mixed feelings about the whole thing. Well, uh, we're a little surprised, Frank rushing into a marriage with Faith. But uh, I'm not about to offer my advice. It's not up to me to approve or disapprove. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, has Jill been made aware of the whole situation? I couldn't say. Well, I, she ought to be told, don't you think? Roger, uh, you see Siobhan's picture in yesterday's paper? No, no, but I heard about it. I just <laughs> happened to have a copy right here. He just happened to buy up every copy between here and Midtown. <laughs> For the family. I can imagine. Oh, yeah. oh that's one. <laughs> Roger, hi. Come on. Good to see you. How are you? Oh. oh, now is this the appropriate greeting, or should I have been less enthusiastic? I'm assuming you're in the good graces of the family these now, days. Now, since when has my standing with anyone been relevant to you? You've always marched to the beat of your own drummer. I suppose. But actually, it has a lot more to do with keeping up with current events. Your relationships, Roger are uh, amazing well, yes <laughs> a source of constant amazement even to me so are you friend or foe this week family soon to be more family <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> as soon as frank and faith tie the knot you'll be my brother-in-law in law or something i don't know i haven't Aren't got you? to vegas to listen i was just reading about your unorthodox obstetrical practice <laughs> as a matter of fact i'm going to go see my baby right this minute hey, do me a favor will you try not to ruffle nurse dumphy's feathers this morning can uh, i help it if it's molting season oh, <laughs> hi Dee. hi siobhan hello Good morning Dee. Yeah. Well, Dee, you're looking especially lovely this morning, and apparently I'm looking invisible. I saw you. I just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, your manners, as usual, are impeccable. Don't you have somewhere else to go or something? Now, where else on earth would I rather be than amongst my true friends? Oh, there's no place like home. <laughs> A package for Ms. S. Ryan. That's me. Thanks. I suppose it is. Can open it, Siobhan? I yeah. want to see what it is. makes watching the young and the restless easy. The Abbots. When John Abbott married Dina Mergeron, Dina's daughter Ashley joined the family. Ashley had a daughter, Abby, with sperm stolen from Victor Newman, whose wife, Nikki, was once married to Jack Abbott, who once slept with Jill Foster Abbott, ex-wife of Jack's father, John Abbott. Keep up with the young and the restless weeknights at 7 on SoapNet. Tonight on SoapNet, the moments we can't control can define the rest of our lives. No, 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 no. It's not possible. This December... Our lives are fated to be intertwined. Some find it. I'm a lesbian. I've fallen madly in love with you. Some follow it. I don't need words. Just this. Some fight it. These killings are a message to me. I brought this on all of you. The search for destiny begins. AMC, tonight at 8 on SoapNet. With my credit, I never thought I'd qualify for a new computer. But with Blue Hippo, all I need is a home phone and a checking account, and approval is guaranteed. We're talking to people who have discovered Blue Hippo Funding's guaranteed approval program. It doesn't matter if you have bad credit or no credit, because we don't check your credit. Your approval is guaranteed with just an active checking account. I started my own home business. So
something I never could have done without a computer. And if you call an order now, we'll include this ultra-thin 20-inch LCD TV complete with mounting brackets and speakers absolutely free. And we'll also include this color printer absolutely free. These accessories are free when you call an order now. I don't know why anyone wouldn't take advantage of this. It's a great offer. Mom, can I go on the computer now? Uh, just a minute. This is your chance to get a brand new brand name computer from Blue Hippo, regardless of your credit. And by calling and ordering now, you'll receive this color printer and this 20-inch flat panel LCD TV for free. So call in the next 10 minutes. What's the secret to achieving a better, healthier outlook on life? It's Mood Plus Sam E, the safe, natural, fast-acting way to improve your mood. After two decades, studies have shown that Sam E, a natural compound found in our bodies, is effective in improving and enhancing mood. Mood Plus increases your level of Sam E and begins working in as little as one week. It was like I woke up and realized that it was what life really should be. Patients for whom I have suggested the use of Mood Plus describe a sense of calmness or peace in their lives. Available without a prescription, you can find Mood Plus Sam E wherever vitamins and supplements are sold. Call or go online now to receive valuable coupons good for $10 off Mood Plus Sam E and other Nature Made products. Nature Made Mood Plus Sam E, your body's own mood enhancer. To receive your Nature Made coupons, go online to moodplus.com or call 1 888 3222. I hate labor. I hate labor negotiations. You love labor negotiations. Okay, I hate Philadelphia. But you love your new helicopter. That is true. I do love my new helicopter. Where is that folder on the Liggett deal? You know, it simplifies things. It really does. It cuts down the driving time between the airport, to and from the airport. It almost makes taking the shuttle a pleasure. But not this time. I really am sorry I gotta leave you to contend with Channel One. Don't worry. I uh, don't mind being deserted. I think I can handle the program, Director. Yeah, and remember, about Mr. Milliken, all I want from you is an absolutely accurate report. Mm -hmm. Looking for any reason at all to dismiss him, and I figure with me out of town, he should go into an incriminating tailspin. I will keep my eyes on him. Yeah, and I'll call you every hour on the half hour just to make sure you're giving him enough rope. Don't worry. What time do you expect to be back? Oh, late, I don't know, probably about midnight. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna have to cancel our plans. What plans? I was going to take you to Il Trovatore. Oh, right, the opera. Stop looking so relieved. <laughs> oh, come on, Michael, it's lovely, and it's cultural, and it's part of your education. Yeah, I don't know, Ray. My parents used to listen to it every week on the radio. Sort of like vegetables, you know, good for you. That is because you didn't get a proper introduction. Now, listen, the first time you ever ate vegetables, it was asparagus with hollandaise sauce. You like vegetables, right? Well, Verdi in a box seat at the Met is a fine introduction. Have I ever steered you wrong? No. OK, well, then trust me. Got the libretto and a record, and I'll talk you through it as soon as I have a chance. All right. I suppose if you can take the boy out of Sheep's Head Bay, Brooklyn, you can stick him in a box seat at the opera. Honey, it is not cod liver oil. It's an experience, an uplifting, enriching, inspiring, positive experience. OK, OK. You're all packed. I am, huh? Good luck. I don't need luck. All right, give him hell then. You got it. I will. Thank you. I know. What? Tell them if they don't buckle down. Yeah. You'll take them to the opera. Nana, miss you. You're mm. cute. <laughs> I was sleeping. Give me a second. I was just having this really sexy dream about you. Who's this? <laughs> Very funny. Listen, I called to tell you something wonderful has happened. Your watch woman went to Europe. No, but seeing as how we have to be so careful about our night visits lately... Yeah? A situation's developed that's made to order. What? Ray's gone for the whole day. She'll be calling in on the half hour, so I'll know where she is all the time. And Seneca's at the hospital. What about Audrey? Oh, she's off. Her husband was nice enough to get sick. 
I'll be here all by myself. No, you won't. <laughs> You're psychic, you know that. Mm, you just rest up. I'm going to take a shower and go make myself gorgeous. Oh, Kim, we don't have that much time. Tease me again and you will be alone. You love it. Being teased? No. I love you. I tolerate being teased. Okay. Well, just get yourself over here. Don't start without me. Bye. <laughs> Listen, thanks a lot. Uh, who was the package from, anyway? Oh. I don't know. It uh, doesn't say on the invoice. Siobhan, who's it from? Oh. I don't know. There's no card or label or anything. No label? What's your company? Oh, Fleet Footed Messenger Service Limited. Here's our uh, home office number. Secret admirer, how romantic. How creepy you mean. I don't know anybody with this kind of money. Well, you must think. Well, the Coleridge's. Well, I never send a present without a card. I am occasionally generous, but never anonymous. I'll call the company, see if I can get some information. Bucky Carter's the only other person that I know that. Yeah, yeah but. Would he. He wouldn't. Oh, why would he. God, so is he. What is this? What is this? Uh, Fleet Footed Messenger Service. Uh, I have an inquiry about a delivery just made to Ryan's bar. Yeah, there was no card. I was wondering if you could tell me who the sender is. It's gonna look great. Mm-hmm. Heavy, too. I see. Cash. Oh, 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 what does this guy look like? How many it took to make Thanks a lot. Well, nondescript guy walked in the office, the package ready for delivery, paid cash, and disappeared. So upset, boy. Siobhan got a beautiful present. I think she ought to at least try it on. Ooh. Mm. I don't like it. It fits! No, not the coat, D. The feeling. It reminds me of those gold candlesticks I got for my wedding. They're just, it's too much. You think you could have any connection with those people? I don't see why or how. Maybe uh, they saw your picture in the paper. Without my coat on, in the freezing weather. <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> Some guy with a sense of humor sends me this extravagant joke. I like that. Yeah, but who? I keep coming back to Joe's people. Oh, no, look. We haven't heard word one from them since the lawyers came looking for Siobhan. Mm hmm And the estate. Odd, isn't it? They didn't contact you after that. No, there's something really strange about this. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think maybe I better do some checking around. Well, yeah, Jack, but it's not going to do any good. I mean, you're still too connected to Siobhan and Joe. I mean, that's why you hired Matt Pierce, remember? Yeah, well, I can go see Matt again. I don't know. Look, I'll just have to make some inquiries and see if we can trace the coat. Now, if you have no real objections, I'll go right now to see Matt. No, no, no objections. Okay. I don't understand what the fuss is about. It's a beautiful coat. You just don't appreciate it. No, I do. I don't like fur. Nobody should have to kill an animal for me to wear it. No offense, Dave. It's not like I go around clubbing baby seals over the head. <laughs> I didn't mean anything like that. It's just that, well, besides, you look great. I mean, you have style. You almost need a fur, not me. I don't think there's anything wrong with fur coats. Besides, my little raccoons wouldn't even have been born if they weren't being bred for this coat. So I'm responsible for their lives as much as anything else. Now, Dee, I'm sure your little raccoons live very short and happy lives, and I'm sure they were slaughtered humanely. I just don't want rodent skins on my back, that's all. Look, I'm not criticizing you, Dee. Well, it sure feels like it. <laughs> Dee, are you all right? No. Well, what's the problem? Uh, do you want a secret admirer uh, for your very own? Shut up, Roger. I don't care about the stupid coat. Yeah. I'm just sick of hearing about everything. Poor little helpless tiny furry things and their little tiny brains like they have feelings. And you do. 
and very close to the surface, I might add. You know, you're uh, very much like one of those small, helpless, furry little animals. I am not. Now, would you just go away and leave me alone? I want to sit in my Maeve's kitchen and... And wallow in self-pity. What a, a wastey. Here I am, willing to hear what's bothering your furry little mind. You're insidious. I am impressed by your vocabulary. I think it ought to be enough that Frank is making the biggest mistake of all our lives without you hanging around like a vulture to rub my nose in it. Yeah, you're mixing metaphors. I don't care. I don't care about anything anymore. And I don't feel bad about it. What do you mean, Dee? Nothing. I mean, I'm upset because they're making a mistake, a terrible mistake. And I don't know what to do about it. This holiday season, don't even think about taking time off. Let's ditch this party. Because drama doesn't take a break on SoapNet. Just go home. For the first time ever, Pine Valley falls prey to a serial killer. Back off. But can the women of Fusion come together to stop him? And I'm not just going to stand here no, and do no. nothing. Victor discovers Jack's shocking secret. This is becoming very interesting. Will the Newmans try to get even? What is it? Jason and Lulu go on the run to save Sam. Can this expert witness help set Sam free? You're way too hot to be locked up. EJ is a ruthless criminal. You really take his word over mine? But can he finish off the job he started? You know what kind of man I am. Todd swears revenge on Spencer. Kiss my ass. But have the stakes finally become too high? You don't know me very well at all. Don't get left behind this holiday season. Celebrate getting away with murder. Keep up with the young and the restless. All my children. One life to live. General Hospital. And Days of Our Lives. All December long on SoapNet. The new TV? Oh, come on! He's watching it right now. He loves it. No, no, no! He's in heaven. Gotta love a new TV. Great brands and the latest flat screens all on sale. Kmart, where Christmas comes together. Some shrimp. We've seared our tuna, and when you're done, voila, new Meow Mix Market Select. Meow Mix Market Select. With tender, juicy cuts of fresh meats and seafood, it's too good to put in a can. Are you one of the millions of Americans having trouble sleeping, waking up tired, struggling through the day? A trusted team of medical doctors has a drug-free way to end sleepless nights. New Sleep MD. Start falling asleep in just minutes and sleep better and longer with exclusive nano-diffuse and time-release technologies. With Sleep MD, you wake up incredibly rested and refreshed. We're the MDs in New Sleep MD, the sleep solution millions have been waiting for. Get yours today at sleepmdhealth.com, Supercenters, Walgreens, GNC, and fine retailers everywhere. Imagine a different kind of foundation that's actually good for your skin. Bare Minerals is a lightweight, loose mineral foundation that covers all your imperfections while giving you the look and feel of beautiful bare skin. You'll receive two foundations in your choice of four skin tones. It's a natural SPF 15 sunblock that protects your skin from aging UVA and UVB rays. You'll also receive warmth, a very special Bare Minerals that gives your skin the natural looking sun-kissed glow of health. And for the perfect finishing touch, you'll receive Mineral Veil, a feather light, completely sheer powder for a flawless looking airbrushed finish. Plus, you'll receive three professionally designed brushes. Just swirl, tap, and buff away the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, redness, uneven skin tone, freckles, and blemishes. Try Bare Minerals for 60 days. If you're not happy for any reason, just send it back for a full refund of your purchase price. Call 1-800-840-8595. Women want him. He's got two, whoa, three girlfriends. Men want to be him. John loves girls on top of the pyramid. Hello. But these girls, John Tucker, must die. Want to kill him. Hasta la vista. Don't you wish I want you to wear them. I'll be right there. Dude, those are for ladies. They're breezy, they don't buy, and they give you just enough swing. Unbelievable. John Tucker must die.
residence. Michael Pavel speaking. Hello, love. Ray, how's everything in the land of liberty? Ooh, gray and rainy, and the weather isn't much better. How's Mr. Milliken? How, what's happening? Well, I took the initiative and called him myself. This might be considered entrapment. Go on. I told him that you were out of town, and I implied that I'd be open hearing whatever he has to say about whatever. You badmouthed me. Terrific. I think he now believes I'm a confidant. Well, it sounds like you've got things well in control. Listen, if you get the idea that he's about to confess any of his treasonous impulses, I'm going to need taped surveillance. You want me to tape the conversation? You got it. And it's a direct order from me, so hold the moral outrage. Oh, no problems here. So how's everything going? Grim, thank you very much, but I will persevere. Call you in about a half an hour. Bye, love. Bye. Hi, big shot. Business? No, that was just your mother. Still out of town, I hope. I'm check. You know what? Absence does make the heart grow fonder. I adore her not being here. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. I took the liberty of calling Dr. Bolat. And? He'll be in a meeting all afternoon. Oh, so you'll be all mine. Till curtain time. Great. Come here. Oh, I like this. Strawberries. What's this? Uh. El Trovatore by Verdi? It's a libretto. I know that. What's it doing here? Oh, your mother wants to drag me off to the opera. Another chapter in my continuing education. And you would have loved every minute of it. Oh, sure. Admit it. You love getting dressed up, and you would kill to be one of those ticket holders with mm -hmm. their dinner jacket. Maybe. No, maybe. Actually, I think Mother was right. It would be good for you. I know it would be good for me. Ryan's Hope is next. Then play dirty with the Abbots and the Newmans on The Young and the Restless, followed by All My Children on Soapnet. We lost a patient this morning. Why did he have to die? Why? If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. My God, how do you expect me to react? Till death do us part. Soapnet's making a list and checking it twice. And what's making the list is very nice. This holiday, indulge in the year's greatest soap episodes on Soapnet Selects, the best of 06. With this ring, I'd be wed. Soapnet Selects, the best of 06. Christmas Day from 7 to midnight, only on Soapnet. January 3rd. That's my car! My life sucks. <laughs> They're four friends. <laughs> I thought you had him. Down on their luck. The internationally known diet guru was arrested. Sometimes. This was not the way our lives were supposed to work out. We all need. We're not losers. We're not. Life support. Most losers don't have other losers who care about them. <laughs> yeah, and those are the real losers. <laughs> In case of emergency, a new comedy premieres Wednesday, January 3rd, 938 30 Central, only on ABC. Three times concentrated power. All small and mighty detergent. Three times smaller, three times mightier. Rev lashes to three times the volume instantly. No clumps. Volume Express from Maybelline, New York. Our anti-clump brush and speed expand formula instantly build three times fuller, more beautiful lashes without clumping. Volume Express. Throughout the years, she thought there was no solution for her dry, itchy skin. Then one day, there was Eucerin Calming Cream. With soothing oatmeal and 24 hours of moisturization, it calms. Ow! So you think Santa will like these red and green M&Ms? I don't know. I never met the guy. <laughs> he does exist! They do exist. Oh. Uh, Santa? Time. Mm. Just keeps rolling along. Wish I could make it stop. 
What time is it, anyway? It's almost half past. Mm, your mother should be calling in any minute. For the fourth time. Mm. I'll have to get to the theater anyway. Until they invent a watch that makes afternoons last longer, I'm not buying you one. Oh, Michael, look at the sky. The stars are really magnificent. Looks like the light's on Broadway, doesn't it? Probably expecting another phone call, but here I am in person. Surprise? Uh. Happily, I hope. Uh. You're back. You bet I am. You've got a gift for straightening the obvious. Uh, did the, uh, did the talks break down? Well, actually, I broke them down. Mind my mind. <laughs> you certainly did yourself proud kitchen-wise, didn't you? Well, I told you I would, so what happened? Oh. The whole trip was a colossal waste of time. Faraday's people were bluffing from the word go. His demands were outrageous, and he wasn't giving an inch. So what did you say? Well, it wasn't really what I said. It was the way I said it. Over my shoulder as I was leaving, I announced that if they ever wanted to negotiate in good faith, I would be back. I scared the hell out of them. <laughs> I'm sure he did. Well, well, actually, it may work. Oh, love. I didn't want to sit there in Philadelphia listening to a lot of back and forth where I could <clears throat> hop into my helicopter and be here to spend my evening with you. Oh, and the opera. Oh, yes, and the opera. Ray, you know, you must be very tired. We don't have to go. No, I'm not tired. Nice try, though. Very nice try, yeah. but no way. Actually, I'm kind of flying. I think it's a kind of a mix of adrenaline and euphoria. Uh, but uh, maybe if we went out to... Hang on. See what I can do here. Oh, good. Hello, Charles. Charles, will you take the car around to Mr. Pavel's houseboat and pick up his dress clothes? They're in the... Uh... Oh, uh, the uh, far left cabin. In the far left cabin closet. Yeah, that's right. Uh, shirt, shoes, tie... Uh... But they're all there. They're all in the same place. That's right. Thank you so much. Uh, but, you know, it's really not necessary. Nonsense. I could go. Nonsense. Now, Charles will bring your clothes. We get dressed and we leave from here. And in the meantime, we settle in with the libretto and the record and walk through your night at the opera. Oh, oh I can't wait. I'll hear it later at the. Trust me, this little preview will ensure your enjoyment. One thing. You'll know what's going on. For another, you won't jump out of your seat when they start the anvil chorus. This is in Italian. Il trovatore, si. There we go. You're really gonna love this. Wait a minute. Just listen. Now try to keep an open mind about it. See? That's not bad, huh? I'm ready. Perfectly clear when you see the libretti you buy. Come on. Settle down and listen. Ferrando is addressing the gods. Soapnet's making a list and checking it twice. And what's making the list is very nice. This holiday, unwrap the five greatest soap episodes of the year. Soapnet selects the best of 06. Christmas Day from 7 to midnight, only on Soapnet.